Greetings everyone, the Ambassador Rifle can be acquired by running Railjack Survival Missions. The Ambassador's Blueprint has an 8.33% chance to drop from Rotation C during the Luckless Expanse Survival Mission at Venus Proxima, the Enkidu Ice Drifts at Neptune Proxima, and Fenton's Field at Pluto Proxima. The Ambassador's Blueprint also has a 16.67% chance to drop from Rotation C during the Lu Yan Survival survival mission at the Veil vale Proxima. As for the Ambassador's components, that being the barrel, receiver, and stock, they each share a 5% chance to drop from the Oryx at Lock Rachnoid units found throughout Corpus Railjack Empyrean missions. When farming for the Ambassador, I personally ran the survival node of Luckless Expanse at the Venus Proxima and gathered multiple copies of each part over the course of the mission as numerous Oryx at Lock Rachnoids spawned throughout my survival mission. Therefore, I highly suggest folks focusing on the blueprint first by running your choice of the aforementioned survival missions and depending on your setup and time limit, reach rotation C, extract and repeat or continue running the same mission until you receive the blueprint from rotation C, which for those who don't know is every 20 minutes you survive. Once you have the blueprint, simply extract. Now if you don't have those components, the Aurax Atlock Rachnoids are medium sized grey spider units that are stronger than the average corpus unit. They stand out during combat due to their tankiness, size and enemy variant. When you spot one, make sure you are close by when it dies as the ambassador's components are a physical drop from this unit, just like mods. Therefore, if you aren't using a companion with vacuum, you may miss your drop, so do keep an eye out for it. Before continuing, it should be noted that the Ambassador has a Mastery Rank Restriction of 10. When you have the blueprints for the components, you can head to the Foundry and craft them. They will drop as blueprints, therefore crafting. The barrel requires credits, 200 cubic diodes, 5 isos, 1 morphic, and 500 oxium. The receiver requires credits, 200 carbides, 5 gallus rods, 1 morphic, and 600 cryotic. Lastly, the stock requires credits, 5 morphics, 200 ferrite, 1100 alloy plate, and 10 hexanon. Each of these components will take 12 hours to build, and once built, alongside with the main blueprint and 20,000 credits, you can complete the process, which will take 12 hours. As for the stats for the Ambassador, it is a primary weapon with a default Naramon Exilus polarity, and it has two firing modes. The first and the main is automatic. When in the automatic mode, the Ambassador has an accuracy of 111.1, critical chance of 14%, critical damage multiplier of 2.8, fire rate of 13.33, magazine size of 96, it is an alarming weapon, reload time of 2.6 seconds, and a status chance of 26%. It will deal 24 electricity damage. Now when using its alternate mode, the weapon will physically transform into a railgun that has the following stats. 100% accuracy, a 1 second charge rate, a critical chance of 16%, critical damage multiplier of 2.8, fire rate of 1 second, a magazine size of 96, it is an alarming weapon, a reload time of 2.6 seconds, a status chance of 32%, and it will deal 600 electricity damage. Lastly, the railgun's projectile explosion deals 800 electricity damage. It explodes in a radius of 6 meters and has a 50% damage fall off over the span of the explosion. Now that does conclude this video on where to farm the ambassador. Check out the other where to farm videos on the channel if you are looking for help. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.